how to remove the pistons from a 2.5 Subaru engine AJ25 on the bottom of the engine on the back of the crankshaft where the fly wheel goes where it connects to the transmission it has two plugs this one right here and this whole plate gonna get those two screws Phillips screws you gonna have to remove the piston pin so what you have to do remove this one right here I remove the other one in here. I'm gonna move, remove the cover and the the pin is gonna be there. So we're gonna have to spin the crankshaft so we can move the cylinders. And then the pin is gonna go through there. And then that one is here. There you go. I have to remove that little cap too with um, the hex. Where is it? Oh, right here 14 millimeters. Allen wrench. The Allen wrench 14 Allen or hex. Let's put them in here. It's usually gonna be pretty tight, but if you can use the uh, impact, we can use the impact. Oh, it was loose. Nice and easy. Okay, the next step is you gotta turn the crank. Next step, we're gonna have to turn the crank so we can get through the pins. So we can see the pins in there. Tell me where you see Tell me where you see the pins. Let's just get them. Anyone? Frozen. Oh. Frozen. Never mind, she's sure frozen. Mero kaina y los dos. Okay, now we have to look for a pin. Oh shit. I, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, there is a pin right there. Now you gotta remove the. Uh, there it is. So now all we have to do is remove that pin the right clip, there. The, clip. the little clip. There is the pin right there. So you have to spin the end, the crank around so you can get the pin where you can see it and you have to remove the pin. I don't have to I gotta get the one. I gotta get the one. No, gotta get the one. Yeah. It's up, yeah. Yeah. 
that. There's a little clip off. No. You go on the phone. Oh. Okay. With this type of tire, the one that's down in, put off. You can do this. And we're gonna get the other one off from there. It's another pin with another clap. Uh, right there. Yeah, there is the pin, and that's the, the clip. There you go. There's one side, pin and the clip. <laughs> so basically, whenever you see the pin, you have to use some um, pliers. You push it in so you can get the uh, the little clip out. Oh. I have to do something like this. Out of there and then you open it and close it. And then to get the pin out, you need a special tool like a extractor. But what we use is a long bar. Oh, this is what, like 5 16 so 3 8. Little skinny one. You put them in there, stick it in there, and you just pull the pin out. So pulling it out. And eventually it will come out like that one. I just push it out. Just put them in there. I just push it out. That's if you don't have the tool. And once there, you better for the pliers and just push it out. There you go. Same in the other one. Of course, I recommend you buy this special tool, the extractor. But I mean, if you're there in the backyard, on the kitchen, or anywhere you want, even in the bathroom, <laughs> you have to improvise. Woo. Okay, now I'll find another way to get the pin out. You're gonna spin the engine or you're gonna hit it from the back? Hold on. You're gonna hit it from the back. And you're gonna spin the engine a little bit just so the bar can pass through it. So the bar can pass through the... to the piston road. See the road is right there. So the bar barely made it into through the bottom. And then if you hammer it down, you're gonna get the pin out. Same on this one. You see, I can see the other pin all the way through the other side. It's right there. And then the connecting road is there. So all you need is that bar. See that? And then when it's there, you can see the other pin all the way over there. All right, never mind. Since we don't have the tool for the pins, what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to open the, the engine or the case. So we're gonna run with the one, two, three, four, five, 12 millimeters on one side. And then on the other side. Which side? Sorry, this side. I have sideways. <laughs> oh, it's a 12, huh? Yeah. It's a 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter. Two. All right, so these two right here, this is 12 millimeters. We have to be 12 points. This is the socket unit. 12 points. Then when those two are removed already, it's another two inside the the water jackets. 
There's one right here, old rusty. Another one is right there. So it's one here, one here. Let me remove it, I'll be back. Now it's loose. Now we remove the bolt. There it is. Okay, now we'll go to the other side. $7 dollar side. So we're gonna flip the engine over. We're going here. We're gonna lift it. One, two, three, four. We got four this side. So on this side we have four. Five, six. We got six. It's 12, 12 millimeters. So let me remove those so we can open it. After you took all the bolts, you're gonna open it from here. Press screwdriver or something is open, and now you're gonna have space to get the the pistons or the rods. You won't be able to pull it out because it has some some little flange in there. So you're gonna have to get those connecting rods off. Take the connecting rods off, and then you're gonna push it out. That's the way it's gonna come out. If you don't have the tool, it's a special tool. So we do have it, but we left some friend borrow it. So we're doing it um, junkie style. So finally, we get it open. So it's right there. The path. Yeah. So it's open. Now we can get the pins out, take the crank, watch the block, inspect. If it's good, get the parts and reassemble. Stay tuned for the second video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Peace out.